part of your claim is for damages. Correct. And right. she says there was mold when I moved in. You say, no, there wasn't. But I got to tell you something, sir. She submitted some photographs that um, it made me a little bit ill because I guess it's purporting to be a mushroom growing out of the ceiling because of water damage. Can you explain yes. to me now, what this is and where this picture was taken? Okay, now that was my neighbor's apartment who lived next door to me. This isn't your apartment. It is not mine. Why is it a part of your case? <laughs> it's a part of my case because the building itself has water damage. There is a plumbing, major plumbing problem in the building. So it's, this is your ceiling? That's my ceiling. And the the... <laughs> The mushroom garden. The mushroom is garden your is neighbor. the apartment next door. Yes. Aha! Now yes. I see. And so your point is, is that if her neighbor has mushrooms growing on the ceiling, okay. then how in the heck should we conclude that the mold in the apartment is her responsibility? I'm not saying it's in, it was not in her apartment altogether. But okay. if there are mushrooms growing in the apartment next door and that property adjoins hers, it is reasonable, likely even, to conclude that there is a water problem that is not contained to that apartment next door. Okay. Mushrooms don't normally grow on the ceilings of buildings. There were no mushrooms to start with, because I see no mushrooms on a piece. Yeah, well then, you know what? You need to put those glasses back on. Whose bathtub is this? That's mine. This is how you lived? That's how I lived there, yes, because guess what? Nothing was this ever... This bathroom hasn't been cleaned. No, that was the bathroom that I cleaned. That was the aftermath yeah, of when it. I moved out. I cleaned the tub. That's as good as you're going to get. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Judge. I don't want to interrupt you, but Mr. Sorkin. Yes, sir. You took this photograph, did yes, you I not? Did. The you, moment... took it, you, you took it after she left, did you not? Yes, I did. You notice this area yeah. here where it all looks like it's moldy, mm -hmm. that you're attempting to hold the defendant capable for? I want to show you, Mr. Sorkin, her photograph which she took on the day that she moved out. You see this photograph, Mr. Sorkin? Yes. Do you see what this is along the border here? Yes, I do. You remove that. So the photograph you submitted to us distorts no. how she left it. No, that is not correct. the question of molding. Let me see my picture. Judge DeMango. Okay, so let's look through on your damages. Okay. We're going to eliminate the mildew bathtub. Thank you. You have the two broken doors, which you admit to. Yes. And that's $360. Okay. The holes in the wall, the broken doors, are they separate issues, the broken doors and the, well, the holes? Broken, the broken doors were the holes. There was no, it wasn't a broken door. It was like two holes in I each thought door. That Hold the, on just one second. That's what it was. What is there it? Is was not, not only broken, I mean the hole in the wall, in a door. There are also broken jam. Jam? Jam. Jam, jams, the jams on the door. Oh. In other words, the doors were not properly aligned and placed up on the wall. And the vertical blinds were broken in there. The vertical blinds? Let me tell you about the vertical blinds. When I moved in... Do you have pictures in, of them when you moved in? I do not because I got a new phone. But like I was telling him when he said I owed it, he didn't do nothing new in the apartment. Do you have a letter to him saying fix the blinds? So I d all, I we have, all we have okay. is a move-out photograph. I get it. No move-in photos, mm -hmm. nothing because you have a new phone. Right. What about the ripped window screens? Yeah, the whip window screens, I didn't do them. Did you notify him of the broken window I did screens? Not. I don't have any other questions. I'm not finished. When was the last time you painted the apartment since you're charging her for painting the apartment? Before she moved in. No, you didn't. You have proof of that? I don't have a proof of no. this. It was how, how over long two years ago. But I was in there. Every two, unit. Almost two that years. I, but then people move in, I paint complete. He did not paint it. All the things that he's charging me for, even when we had rats in the wall, he refused to believe there was rats living there until the exterminator said there were rats living in the wall. He tries to fix everything himself to save money. First of all, I have only had one problem with rats. I did call professional. What is enough? Thing. <laughs> was it while she was living mm -hmm. there? Were you was, there now? Of course I was there. There goes your case. Go yeah. <laughs> I don't care if you have 900 people <laughs> living in there with mushrooms. The mere fact that you have to share it with a rodent, done. That was Still the clincher. I'm losing my appetite. Can we end the case? <laughs> Thank okay, you. Okay, you're just right. Right. Thank you, you both Mrs. while we deliberate in this matter. <laughs>